Trey here with Air Components of Systems. Today we're going to talk about compressed air. There's several several types of compressed air that you'll deal with on a daily daily routine. Uh, today we'll cover process air and instrument air. Um, instrument air is basically what you would use in your plant. Uh, there's definitely you want that air clean. Uh, there's ways to do that of inlet filtration on your package of your machine. Uh, you can go as far as doing high dust filtration on your air compressor also. Uh, inline filtration is a big thing. A lot of plants will think about compressed air and not really just kind of forget about the, the filters and things. So we have a couple filters over here just to kind of show you what uh, you know what you should do. These are, these are small. These go all the way up to three inches on thread size. This is what we call a general purpose filter. This is a genuine or Sauron filter. Uh, about every six months to a year, depending on really the process that you're using for your air and how quality of air you, you need. Uh, they're nice to have a gauge on the top of them that lets you know when that, when that filter is due to be changed. Uh, like I said, once again, every anywhere between six months to a year is, is a good idea to change that filter. Uh, we also have some little small point of use filters. If you have, um, you know, lasers and things, CNC machines, things of that nature in your plant, it's really a good idea to put a filter directly in front of that because you can't pick up contaminants from your air piping in your system. You know, a lot of people have still have carbon steel and galvanized piping and stuff, so it's really good to to try to filter that air before it gets into those high dollar machines. And then once again, still another you know six months to a year filter change. A whole lot cheaper to change this little filter than it is to have a damage to your high dollar machines. This is a PSG 120. This is what we call an oil water separator. Um, a lot of time, you know, any, any compressed air system, there's a lot of condensate. Dryers, filters, air compressors. Uh, let's face it, these things are in hot rooms. They make a lot of water. You need to treat that water to try to do best for your environment. Uh, this particular model here uh, is, a, is a completely gravity fed system. There's no moving parts whatsoever. Uh, you pipe all your condensate back from all three, you know, anything, compressor, dryer, filters, tanks, everything would tie back into here. There's a vent here, so you don't have to worry about check valves and things of that nature. It will vent back through here. Um, also comes with a couple oil water, you know, little separate, little oil sample kits. Uh, you know, typically this is about a, a one year maintenance life item, uh, but you can oil sample it, sample the discharge and send it off to us so we can sample it and tell you, yeah, you know, you're good, or, or maybe you can get another six, eight months out of it. It just really depends on the environment that they're in and how many hours your system does operate. Us here at Air Components of Systems, we service all makes of compressors. Uh, but we, we especially like the fact of using genuine parts, no matter what brand it is. Uh, any kind of an Ingersoll RAM part will always come in an Ingersoll RAM box. Uh, you get high quality parts that's engineered for your air compressor. Uh, you know, aftermarket parts are definitely a lot cheaper. Sometimes, you know, a third, a third, two thirds cheaper. Um, but they're just not going to give you the life expectancy that you will get out of a genuine part. It's always a good idea to use genuine parts, no matter what brand of compressor you have. If you ever have any questions about your compressed air systems, give me a call. Air Components of Systems will be glad to help you.